In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to collect back your keys inside of Pet Simulator 99. So make sure to stick around till the end if you want to have enough keys to be able to unlock a huge hacker axolotl. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out at the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username and uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. All right, so here we go. We are right now inside of the hacker world, inside of Pet Simulator 99. This is the newest update that's been added to the game. And so you pretty much want to be in the last area or really just any area inside of the uh, hacker world because although you can actually get hacker keys from other places, like I believe the prison and the uh, summer world, the area that's going to get you the most hacker keys is going to be the hacker area itself, or like the hacker world. So make sure to stick around here. And I believe the last area over here, which is going to be the hacker mainframe, it is going to could pretty much be the best area to actually collect these next up you want to go into items and you pretty much want to have exotic treasure flags on uh, i believe i don't i can't have them on because someone else put some uh, fortune flags on yeah don't use fortune flags either exotic flags or if you don't have them do shiny and ramble flags because those are going to make your pets a lot more repeat and break breakables a whole lot faster you also want to put on some buffs uh which are pretty important because uh you know they actually do significantly increase your you know, both drops and also like the strength on your pets so you definitely want to do them i guess the uh the orange doesn't matter because it's from gems but if you want to put it on go ahead and so yeah these are kind of like the items that you kind of want to have and then potions you want to go over here and you want to uh, put on some treasure hunter potions and the damage potions as well you can also put coins potions if you're running along coins although this isn't a coins tutorial so you might not be getting the most amount of coins you can possibly get from one of these areas and also the ultimates you also want to have some ultimate on equip uh, i recommend the tornado this thing is extremely op mine is although like level 99 so it's pretty much max but it does like pretty much break these like like, like look how fast but it, it pretty much breaks all the breakables that it touches very op and so you definitely want to have an ultimate on equip then lastly you want to go into the enchants and as you can see this is pretty much my loadout uh it is not it's not free to play if this video gets over 50 likes i will be doing a free to play tutorial on this but this is pretty much the enchant loadout you want for pretty much you know collecting them in general so as you can see boss chest this thing is very op is going to get you like a lot more drops also the mini chest fortune and this thing i'm pretty sure goes hand in hand with the boss chest mimic because uh, you're also gonna get a lot more drops the corruption is good against the strength if you don't have corruption you could just use a strong pets bug that's also fine and then criticals and treasure hunter as usual as well as the speed five bug because this thing is going to get your pets attacking faster uh you could also instead of the speed five bug i heard uh let, let me just try to find it. the happy pets book is also pretty good so if you want to have that as well and lastly i have the super magnet on this thing really doesn't matter I, I just have it on for convenience sake just so i can like collect stuff uh whenever like even if i'm not inside of like the, the area right here i'll still collect stuff so that's pretty nice uh, if you don't have it though i mean I, I know most people don't have it 600 million robux you could probably just swap it with like a chest breaker or like the happy pets that i just mentioned previously but you could also use a magnet 3 because that's also a pretty good uh, free to play alternative to the super magnet and also if your pets aren't strong enough like you know if you don't have as like huge pets like i do and stuff like that you definitely want to put on damage potions and i also do recommend going into your items and also either putting on some strength flags or using these tnts and tnt crates because that's going to break breakables a whole lot faster the faster you break breakables the more drops you're going to collect so keep that in mind and if you want to see how i managed to get a golden huge pet for only 300 robux make sure to check out this video right here